Okay, we'll finish up the last topic of section 15.2, which is based on the orthogonality of the legendary polynomials. And we spent some time to show that this is uh, the correct way to express the uh, orthogonal um, property of the legendary polynomials. So now, because of the, this uh, relation, we can uh, express a, a function defined within the domain of the agenda polynomials uh, for x from minus 1 to 1 as a linear combinations of the agenda polynomials of all orders. So basically, if you have a function fx, then uh, we can express it as summing from n from 0 to infinity with some coefficient a sub n times the legendary polynomial of nth order. Okay, so that's the expression of the legendary series. Okay, and then uh, the coefficient a sub n can be uh, found by applying the, the normalization relation here. So uh, the way to do it is like multiply a piece of m to both the left hand side and right hand side. So you have fx times pm x dx and integrate over the whole range equals to somewhere or n and integrate pm x pm x dx right but then this is exactly this one so we know that this is the right hand side here with a Kronecker delta delta n m which is only uh, non zero is one for n equals to m so we will only pick up one term so this will be equals to two times two m plus one times a m okay so it means that a sub m or you can call it back a sub n because uh, this is multiplied by pm then you get a sub m but if you change m back to n so a n will be 2n plus 1 over 2 integrate fx times pn x integrate over x okay so this is uh, the formula for the coefficient in the Legendre series. So that's uh, pretty straightforward. This is equation 15.40. All right. So of course, uh, we, by writing the a Legendre series, we're basically assuming that we can do that. So uh, basically, we're assuming that the Legendre series is uh, complete or they, they form a complete set so and we haven't talked about that but uh, we basically accept that 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 is true so but then uh, in order to see the completeness we can actually uh, substitute this back to here and express the completeness condition in uh, in terms of a delta function so if it's substitute this back to here so f x will be um, integrating uh, summing n from 0 to infinity a n which is 2 n plus 1 over 2 integrating from minus 1 to 1 f now because we already use x here this is an integration within to get a the coefficient a n we can write like x prime 
and pn prime dx prime okay dx prime so this is the whole thing this is a sub n and multiplied by pn x okay and we can rewrite the whole thing as put the integration out and put the fx point out and put everything else inside this summation sum of n from 0 to infinity and you have 2n plus 1 over 2 and then pn x pi pn x okay dx pi okay so compare this with this one so this is equals to integrating the same function over this range multiplied by this factor so if so the but it uh, obvious that this factor, this square bracket, must be equal to a delta function. So this implied some, or that actually not implied, required. This square bracket 2n plus 1 for 2 pn x pi in x equals to a delta function x minus x prime. Okay, so that uh, a an uh, expression of the completeness condition, and then uh, the rest of the the chapter is uh, talking about some example where you can have the Legendre series, and we talk about that when we talk about uh, in, uh, the partial differential equation chapter, the Laplace equation, um, the solution can be expressed as the associated Legendre function. And for the special case of a single symmetric case, we have Legendre polynomial. So one of the example is uh, Laplace solution for Laplace equation. And then there are some ex examples in your textbook talk about that, but we'll uh, just let you read those and work out some exercises. Okay, so that's the end of chapter at section 15.2.